What up, though? What's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there? I hope all of my Scorpio collective is doing well. All my beautiful, all my handsome Scorpios, all y'all doing well. All right, so let's get into it, y'all. Let's see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. We're going to start off with uh, some messages to music. I haven't pulled from this in a while, I don't believe. So let's pull some messages to music. Let's see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. If you find that something resonates, you know what to do. Go on and like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. I want to take time to say, first of all, we have lots of new subscribers, okay, Scorpios, all Zodiac signs. I want to thank everyone for taking time to watch my videos and also subscribe and like them as well. All right, y'all, so let's go. Messages through music for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? All right, Scorpio, somebody saying that they'll never feel your touch again, if they'll never hear your voice, see you again. This person may not never breathe again, okay? They may just fuck around and take their last breath here, okay? We got Tony Braxton, breathe again. Y'all love me some Tony Braxton. We got Young Blue, Heartbreak Hotel, okay? So someone here feels like maybe they've lost you for good, or maybe they're in this Heartbreak Hotel, they're missing you. Like they're in this Three of Swords energy going through a lot of emotional pain this could be you or this could be this person all right then we got r kelly keep it on the low but for some of you they ain't want nobody to know about y'all okay this is someone who you know this situation this this connection that you share with them like shit it wasn't what nobody's supposed to know it's supposed to be between you and them you know you weren't supposed to tell your friends and they weren't supposed to tell their friends or whatnot so someone here but some of y'all, I don't know about y'all, but when I went through that situation with my twin, it made me feel like she was ashamed of me, okay? So some of y'all could have felt ashamed, you know, or whatever. But this person may feel like right now, you guys have unfinished business, okay? This situation between you and them, Scorpio, is not over. But the problem is, they just taking their damn time. They dragging their damn feet, all right? For some of you, they could be dragging their feet with this fake-ass soulmate. And for some of you, you could be dealing with a karmic soulmate here, okay? So what this means with this dragging their feet, like someone here is supposed to be doing something, working on themselves, making some changes, doing something, but they dragging their feet. Someone here feel like they got all day. They got all the time in the world to, you know, make this change or make this transformation or whatever it is that they supposed to be doing. So this gives me the energy of like, when you and this person, when you dealt with them in the past, you know, this kind of was like an on and off connection, right? So I feel like this person got used to them used to you always being there with open arms you know even though they would go street even though you weren't here for them for months at a time it was like when they was ready to come back she you 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 let them back in so for some of you it's like this person's dragging their feet because they feel like shit, you ain't going nowhere all right tell us more messages for my scorpios i love you scorpio so what is it that my beautiful and my hands for scorpios what do they need to know What does Scorpio need to know? All right, we've been together all this time and you still don't know me. So some of y'all could be in a connection now. You know, maybe you've been dealing with this person on and all. It could be this person, you know, but you will feel about now like, damn, Scorpio, y'all know about y'all, but before I make a friend or even deal with somebody, like, I'm going to give you the whole blueprint on how to deal with Sharon, right? Because I feel like a lot of people say we we difficult or we this and we that. No, we not. It's just how you do us. Like shit, if you ain't gonna treat us why you better be treat us right. You better be prepared for what's gonna come with it. So I feel like you know, with me, I'm gonna tell people like, hey, I, I'm this, I'm that. You know, I tell them my flaws and shit because I'm I recognize it. But it's like people don't even be following the blueprint, Scorpio. Like you give people the whole game plan, the whole playbook. And how they, you know what I'm saying, how to deal with you and the type of person you are. Shit, they just throw that motherfucker away and just do you like they do everybody else. And you sitting back like, you ain't read the book. You know what I'm saying? You ain't read the playbook player. You know what I'm saying? I gave you the whole goddamn me play. I gave you play by play of 
of how I am and whoop whoop this and that, and you see it and listen. So some of you feel like, you know, even dealing with this person or a connection, period, like someone here just didn't pay you, I ain't gonna say pay you no attention, like, I don't know. Maybe they was blind, you know, they handled you like they had handled everybody else, but, you know, it, it kind of frustrating, like, damn. You don't know me now, like, I know you. <laughs> Tell us more. Somebody could be scared. Maybe that's why they're dragging their feet. Okay, this person could be scared, but they scared of. We're going to clarify and see. <laughs> Messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know? Okay, so some of you could do something. Maybe you have to share your time or energy, maybe with, like, the opposite sex. It's just a lot of people. You know, they don't like sharing you with these people. Like, this is someone who I feel like is very obsessed, I mean, possessive over you. Like, they want all your time and energy. You know what I'm saying? What's this song by Chris Brown? Say, who getting all your time and your money and your energy and all this? Like, I want that, okay? Who get my residuals? <laughs> then we have someone who could be hurting financially here. So somebody could be, you know, in a tough situation. They money, they finances not looking good, you know? So maybe this person can't give you what you want or something. Messages for my Scorpios. Okay. All right. Messages for Scorpio. What else does Scorpio need to know? Come on. I got something to drop. All right. Messages for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Tell us more about this personal situation when it comes to Scorpio. What else does Scorpio need to know? Somebody here scared. Maybe that's why they drag and they see. Tell us more. All right, somebody here want to know, do you still think about them? Do you still want them? Do you still love them? Because they feel like they need to move on from you, but they're hurting. So someone here feels like they need to move on. Maybe they're dragging their feet to move on because it's like if this person just knew they had this one little ounce of hope, knowing that you still love them and you still care about them and you want to give them another chance, like maybe this person wouldn't drag their feet. You know? This person feel like, what am I trying for now, Lord? And Scorpio don't want me no more. All right, for some of you, you share a telepathic connection with this person or they've been communicating with you telepathically here, okay? That means they're sending you different signs and synchronicities. Maybe you see lots of numbers all the time. And it's this person trying to communicate with you. You know, they can't talk to you here on the physical plane. We like, shit, we don't want no damn 5D relationship. We want a 3D relationship. All right, this is someone who pretends like they don't care. So, you know, they act all nonchalant. When you see this person, they may not even speak or acknowledge you or whatever. But it's the opposite. This person feels quite the opposite. Their feelings for you are a little bit obsessive. I can't make this up for some of this person is obsessed with you. And their feelings for you, like for some of you, they watch you on social media. Like if you live close to this person, like they could be riding by your house. If you work with them, like they watch you all the time. If they ain't watching you, they got somebody else watching you. Tell us more. All right, they want a second chance because being with you is killing them, okay? This is what they're scared of. They want a second chance, but they don't know how to go about doing it or getting it, you know? I feel like it's all because of how they handled you or, or how things or whatever happened in the past. Like, the past has a lot to do with the future between you and this person. Look at this. I fucked up, and I don't know what to say to you or how to make this right. I'm telling you. This is what they're scared of. This person, they want a second chance. They can they can acknowledge you and they can admit to you right now, Scorpio. Like, yeah, I know. I feel real bad. And this, but they don't know what to say to you. They don't know what, what to say, how to, you know, where to start. Like, none of this. This is what they're scared of. And a lot of you, I feel like they're scared that you're going to reject them. I feel like that's what their biggest fear is. It's like, damn, now I want to get my ears together and go towards Scorpio and, you know, try to make things right. And Scorpio folks around and tell me no. Like, you know what they'll do to this person? Let's get one more. Look at this. And for some of you, we talking about your twin. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. So we're going to end that. Let's see who this is about. And then we're going to pull a uh, roll of dice, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. So let's see. I can be describing you guys or I could be describing your person. Y'all have to take it how it resonates. You guys, make sure you check out the collective readings as well. It's for all signs. But hey, you may get to see a little bit into your person or whatever, you know, you got going on. All right, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about for my Scorpios? I love you, Scorpio. Who is this reading about for Scorpio? 
This could be about someone who has braids or dreads. You got a young female. You can be the young female. You could be the young female or dealing with one. That had a goatee beard. A muscular chest. And we're going to take 50 to 55. So let's get the signs. Let's see who this is about. All right, who is this reading about for Scorpio? You could be dealing with Taurus, Leo, Virgo, Gemini. Gemini, Sag, Aquarius, Capricorn. Libra, Pisces, Leo, and Aquarius. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.